Okay, getting my screen set up here. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yeah. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me, if you can hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. I need a big Y-E-S, please. There it is. Thank you, Sleepwalker. Hello, hello. Tomas, how you doing? Ava, hello, Ava. Mary Poppins, yay. <clears throat> Radu is here. Yes. Samuel, hello, Samuel. Helga, hello. Ella, all right, good to see Ella. Well, welcome, welcome, everyone. Ray Ray, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's my working shirt. I had to, I was teaching my classes today, so this is just my standard um, teaching shirt here, Ava. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, well, um, what we always do, we always have a toes for good luck, so let's do that, right? Okay, so please pick up your beverage, whatever you're drinking, please pick it up. Mine is hot coffee, of course. Sweet Lana, hello, sweet Lana. How you doing? Hello, hello. All right, so um, let's have a toast. Well, we're gonna have two toasts. Yes, we'll have two toasts. Our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, the supporters. They support me. <laughs> That's right, Radu. <laughs> they support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team, the people in green, a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. Mm. Oh, super, super hot. Yes, it's just made. It just came out of the pot. All right, our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you very much. So let's give a toast to you. Let's give a toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, that's hot, hot, hot. Candy Candy's here. Hey, Sam is also here. Good, good, good. All right, Maya, good to see Maya. Mwah. Welcome, Maya. Good to see Maya. Marion, hello, Marion. Tetsuro, hello, Tetsuro. How you doing, Tetsuro? Okay, okay, good to see you all. I'm happy to see you, of course. Okay, now, Let's talk about today's lesson plan, all right? So right here is today's lesson plan. I wrote it on a sheet of paper. We will do what is it. That's our first activity. You know that. Yes, bump Samuel. I have four cards here. You're going to see the picture, and you're going to tell me what it is. Then we will do answer the question. I'm going to... Um, give you a question and you give me an answer. I will give you a question and you will give me an answer. Then we will do, um, we will compare two things, which is more, we could say, for example, which is uh, more beautiful, which is um, taller. Okay, so we're going to compare two things and you're going to um, choose one, all right, and tell me why, right? So we're going to you're going to choose what we're going to compare two things. You're going to choose one and tell me why. Then we will do dictation cards and then we will do Lolly's Revenge. Yes, you know Lolly's Revenge. That's a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. So we are going to be busy today. Yes, we are. We're always busy. We will be here for two hours, everyone. Two hours. Yes. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are feeling well. I hope you are happy. I hope you are ready 
to practice your English with me. And most important, in the chat, yes, practice with each other, ask each other questions, um, support each other. Yeah, so that makes by, um, by you guys supporting each other in the chat and by me doing what I do, we're going to make this a really good time. Yes, we'll, we're going to have a good time for two hours, all right? So let's get right to it, shall we? All right, all right. Well, our first activity is what is it? What is it? So I'm going to go ahead and write it on the board. What is it? What is it? What is it? And then it's, 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 uh, well, if, if this is a countable noun, if we can count like, okay, one table, two, oh, it's a table, it's a pen, okay, so let me check what kind of nouns we have, right? So we use the article for nouns. So we have to see what kind of... Okay, here, this is a countable common noun. Another countable common noun. Another countable common noun. And another countable common noun. Okay, so we're all, all our four things have a ah. Uh, okay, so... That is good the way it is. Oh, four cards. So that means I need to write four spaces for the cards. One, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four. And because we have four cards, we need magnets to secure the cards to the whiteboard, right? So the magnets will secure the cards to the board. So let me get the magnets. We got one magnet, two, three, four, four magnets, yes? And the magnets will um, place, will keep the cards on the board. They will keep the cards on the board. One magnet, two, three, and four. Yeah, they're different colors. We got a turquoise, got a turquoise one, and we have a red one, and we have a mm, maybe orange one, or yellow, orange or yellow, and a purple one. Yeah, so we got colorful magnets. Yay, colorful magnets. Yay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready, everyone? Like I said, four co Oh, Lolly's here. Lolly, good to see Lolly. Cheers. Okay, good, good. All right. Let's do it. All right, here's card number one. What is it? I'm bringing it down in the chat. Please say what it is. It's <laughs> color, colorful magnets, Tetsuro. Okay, what is it? What is it? Please tell me what it is. What is it? Okay, Helga, I'm looking for a specific type of car, okay? There are, okay, I'm looking for what type of car this is, right? So we have many, many kinds of cars. Many kinds of four-wheel vehicles. Let's say that, vehicles, 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 right? So vehicles basically... Um, they have four wheels and they move. That's a vehicle. Four wheels and they move. Okay, I seen some more specific there. We got Jeep. We got terrain, all terrain vehicle from Lolly. We see it is a California Jeep. That's a uh, Dahlia says Jeep. Convertible car, I see. Radu says convertible car. We say, I see a Jeep, military vehicle, tractor, I see, Jeep, pickup. Okay, so I think most of you got it, right? I see a lot of the, it's not a pickup. Iwana, how are you doing? Iwana's in the house. Great, great. Okay, it's not a pickup truck. It is, it's a Jeep. Yeah, it's a Jeep. Now, 
your a pickup truck has the a pickup truck it has a the back is open so you could put things in it right so um the pickup truck has like uh, a place for two people and then in the back there's space well there's like like it's like a box or something right like a big box and so you could put many things in it so so pickup trucks are very convenient but they don't hold too many people so this is kind of like a pickup right because um, it's kind of like a box in here and you could put things in there but this is actually a Jeep it's um, people said military right so it was built for World War II so the purpose it was built for World War II and it's four-wheel drive and they're small and they're pretty cool they're pretty cool yeah okay so it's a Jeep good job okay let's go to card number two here we go what is it here we go what is it yeah long time no see Iwana so sleepwalker you remember Iwana that's great okay what is it everyone what is it everyone do you know what it is oh um off-road vehicle yeah it is um Maya um a Jeep is an off-road vehicle that's right that's true yeah yeah that that's right Lolly so um it's just this type of off-road vehicle is called a Jeep you know the style this style is called a um, off uh, a Jeep now okay I see fire I'm looking for a more like a more uh, specific what kind of fire is it so there's different fires right so there's like we say like a house fire we say a, a um, oh I saw a bonfire yeah bonfire is a big big fire like usually people maybe it's a celebration fire so a bonfire is maybe like a celebration fire for like a new year here in Japan a lot of the temples have a bonfire and so they take um, it's kind of like burning the you know the burn the old for the new right like burn the old spirits for you know for the new spirits like a, a re a rebirth a rebirth so it's like the phoenix maybe if you heard it's a mythology story the phoenix and the the phoenix is a bird that comes from the fire and it's a new beginning um, dangerous fire open air fire so it's lots of ways to say fire and let's see fireplace good Juliet a fireplace is in our home you have a fireplace in a home so you can have an, a fire in the house without hurting your house <laughs> I love I used to have a fireplace when I lived in California but here in Japan you don't see those um, there's wood burning stoves like a wood burning stove where it's in the living room and you you it's enclosed and so but it gets very hot and it heats up your whole house so those are really nice those are really nice too the wood burning stoves but an Olympic torch yes I do so that's a open flame right that we can see the flame we can see the fire in the torch yeah so but actually fire alarm yes be <laughs> don't set off the fire alarm don't set off the fire alarm or smoke alarm right so usually if you there's smoke before fire <laughs> there's smoke before fire okay so this is actually a campfire yeah so this is a campfire because right here this could be like bricks and so we're outside these are logs and um, we're sitting around the campfire enjoying the heat talking having a talk maybe having a beer some people might be cooking roasting hot dogs or roasting marshmallows and um, you could see the stars at night oh I miss campfires I like campfires 
Okay, good, good, good. All right, campfire, yes. Okay, let's go. Number three, card number three. Here it comes. Uh, it's a bale fire. I'm not, Daco, I don't know bale fire, but I understand bale like a bale of hay. I understand bale, but not bale fire. Ava, yeah, campfires are fun, aren't they? Okay, here we go. Card number three, everyone. What is it? It's coming down. It's coming down. All right, so what is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Right there, it looks like a torch, doesn't it? Okay, Sarah, hello, Sarah. How you doing? Okay, I see. Okay, Tram and Ava. Okay, Julie, Julia. Okay, Lolly, not quite. Okay, this is actually, you're half right. This is a ladder right here. But what's this? So, Lolly, you got that right. This is a ladder right there. But the whole thing is a, a name. It has a name. The whole thing has a name. Okay, yep. Okay, you guys got it. Very good. Let's bring it down. Yeah, it's a slide. A slide. Yeah, so kids like to go down. it. It's fun, right? It's fun. Actually, um... At a water park, so summer's coming real quick, right? Summer is around the corner. Summer is around the corner. So what's popular to do in the summer is go to a water park, right? So a water park, it, it's kind of like a, an amusement park, but all the rides are water rides. And there are many big slides, and so you're like in an inner tube, and you're sliding, on water, right? So you're going down a big slide, but there's water, and so you're going down with the water, and there are water slides, and lots and lots of fun. I love water parks. Too much fun, too much fun. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's go to card number four. Let's bring it down. Sarah, how you doing, Sarah? Okay. In Russia, in winter, we have slides for children from the snow. Oh, you have snow slides. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sleep Parker. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm laughing. I, I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sleep Parker. I'm just, I could just, like, I'm, I'm imagining. So, <laughs> so, like, right? So, in the summer, here it's very hot like for example here in Japan it's very hot and so people go to the water park to cool off right and so you're going to you know so we're in a bathing suit right so everyone has bathing suits on and we're, we're going it's hot and we're going down the water slides cooling off having fun and I just imagine like snow slides <laughs> and the kids are crying I'm too cold <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But um, I do like skiing. I, I love snow skiing, and we're sliding on skis, right? I enjoy that. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Here's card number four. What is it? Okay, Radu, what type of helmet is it? What type of helmet is it? Yeah, sledding is really fun. Yep, I used to go, or tobogganing, we say tobogganing. And um, a gr in the Winter Olympics, right? Seeing the skeleton, the toboggan, right? Those are exciting to watch. Okay, yes, Radu. I, I know, I know, Sleepwalker. I just, I, I just had this image of like sliding 
like a snow slide. I forget it. <laughs> yeah, not army helmet. No, 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 no. It, it's a it's a football helmet, American football helmet. So um, football season is coming. Yes, football season. So well, it's right now. They're in camp. They're they're practicing right now. So um, people are starting to talk about football season, American football. If you go to like um, sports talk radio or you know um, ESPN sports TV or on YouTube, people it's now like American football is now part of um, what people are talking about right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Radu, the Canadians have their own football league. I'm pretty sure the Canadians have their own football league. Canadian, the, the Canadian Football League. Okay. Radu, we are going to take over the NFL. <laughs> NFL's too big. It's too big. But I'm getting, I'm getting excited for the NFL. I enjoy watching football. Okay, good, good, good. There we are. There are our four cards. What is it? It's a Jeep. What is it? It's a Jeep. What is it? It's a campfire. What is it? It's a campfire. What is it? It's a slide. What is it? It's a slide. What is it? It's a football helmet. What is it? It's a football helmet. Okay, nice, nice. Well done. Okay. Now, actually, um, this is for Radu. So, Radu, I know how much Radu loves pineapple pizza, right? Radu, your favorite topping for pizza is pineapple, right, Radu? We know that. And actually, so this Radu, his favorite toppings are pineapple. And then after pineapple, he loves honey pizza. So I know Radu loves honey pizza and pineapple pizza, right? So, for Radu, I found some interesting foods here in Japan. I found some interesting food here in Japan. So, let me know what you think. And then, we will, um, you will decide which, which of these four you prefer the most, okay? So, I'm going to show you four, four um, foods here in Japan. And you tell me which one you want of the four. Okay, so our first one is a lettuce burger. <laughs> this is a lettuce burger. You can see <laughs> lettuce burger. There's no, no bread. So we got a lettuce burger. Okay, so that's our first, first choice. I got, I'm going to get the four magnets. Okay, so I got these. these. This is sold in Japan, all right? You can go to Moss Burger. It's called Moss Burger, and you can, you can get this. So this is a lettuce burger. What do you think? Okay, now for our second is a... This is our second choice here. This is jalapenos, chili sauce, onion rings, tomato cheeseburger. This is real. That's real. Jalapenos. There, there are many, many jalapenos on here. There is chili sauce right here. Chili sauce. Then we have onion rings. Onion rings right there. Then we have a tomato. A slice of tomato. Cheese and the patty. This is a jalapenos, chili sauce, onion rings, tomato, cheese, burger. Okay. That's number two. Here we go. Number three. We have a, right here, this is a pizza rice bowl. This is a pizza rice bowl. Now, at the bottom is rice. So it is butter rice. Butter rice. Then 100% mozzarella cheese with toppings. So this is a pizza rice bowl. A pizza 
rice bowl. So there you go. <laughs> Feel like pizza rice, there you go. This is a pizza rice bowl. Got to use a spoon. Okay, so you're going to spoon your pizza with this. And our, this is our fourth one right here. This is a ground beef and pork patty topped with Gouda cheese and butter sauce burger. One, that's right, Tram, it's a lettuce burger. That's what it is. You're, you got it. This is a ground beef and pork patty topped with Gouda cheese and butter sauce. <laughs> Me too, Ava. Okay, so Tetsuro, he's here in Japan. He knows Moss Burger. So Tetsuro, this, these three are Moss Burger. And this is um, Domino's Pizza. So one more time, which one do you prefer? We have a lettuce burger. That is a lettuce burger, okay? So let, let's do numbers. That's easier, right? Okay, here's number one, number two, number three, number four. So, number one is the lettuce burger. Number two is the jalapenos and onion rings. Jalapenos and onion rings. Number three is a pizza rice ball. Or not, pizza rice bowl. This is a pizza rice bowl. And number four is the the Gouda cheese and butter sauce. Gouda cheese and, and um, butter sauce. So yes, so Tetsuro knows Moss Burger. I like Moss Burger too, but I don't order the, I order just the, the simple burger. I order the simple one. <laughs> That's right, Umesh. Nothing, these aren't in America. These aren't in India. They're only in Japan. So. Which one do you prefer? One, two, three, or four? So in the chat, please tell me your preference. Okay, Ava, number one, because I want to be slim. Okay, so no carbohydrates, right? So no bread. Bread can be fattening. So Ava prefers the lettuce burger. Oh, Helga, pizza and four is nutritious, but one is the healthiest. So choose one, Helga. Tomas, Tomas wants the Gouda cheeseburger. So Tomas wants the Gouda cheese. Julie wants the, the jalapeno and onion rings. Tram wants the lettuce burger because it's healthy. Oh, uh, Shams wants three. Shams wants the, wants the pizza rice bowl. Daco wants number two, the jalapenos and onion rings. Samuel prefers the lettuce burger. Sewu, hello Sewu. Sewu's in the house. Radu prefers the lettuce burger, just like brushing your teeth without toothpaste. <laughs> That's right. You don't need to brush your teeth, just have a lettuce burger. <laughs> Mary Poppins. Number one, the lettuce. Okay, Radu, I want the Gouda burger. Seems the most reasonable. Okay. Uh, Helga wants the pizza, the, the pizza rice bowl. I'm omnivorous. So Marion eats everything. Omnivorous. I eat everything, says Marion. Umesh, now burgers are found with no variety. I'm f are found with no variety. I'm not sure what you mean, Umesh. You mean many varieties. I think you mean many varieties. That's right. So I think, Umesh, you, now burgers are found with many varieties. 
Jama, hello. Okay, say we're, we're I'm asking you, we have four four foods here. <laughs> Maya, lettuce without burger. So Maya wants a salad. <laughs> so Maya says, no, hold the beef, please. So Maya wants the lettuce, tomato, and dressing. <laughs> that's a that's a salad. Radu, I said before, some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we have the lettuce burger one more time. We have the lettuce burger. We have the jalapenos, the jalapenos, chili sauce, onion rings, tomato cheeseburger. We have the pizza rice bowl with, with butter rice, mozzarella cheese and toppings and then we have the the gouda cheese butter sauce burger now see gouda cheese and butter they're savory with the meat so this is too savory for me too too rich for me so this is no thank you no thank you um for me the pizza rice bowl is a no thank you because butter rice. No, I don't want butter rice and I don't want to use a spoon for my pizza. I enjoy the bread. I enjoy, you know, the, the bread with the pizza. You know, that's for me, you know, it's, it's the bread with the tomato sauce, right? And the cheese and the topping. So I don't want rice. I want bread. So this is no thank you for me. Now, I'm okay with this, but no onion rings, please. Just, just a little bit, just a few jalapenos is okay. And the chili sauce is okay, but uh, it's too, too many jalapenos for me. So I'm going to say no thank you here. And I'm going to have to go for the lettuce burger, even though I prefer the bread, the, the, the bun but I'll, I'll take this. So for me, I will have the lettuce burger. Okay. So these are interesting. I thought of Radu and um, so these are for you, Radu. Okay. <laughs> That's right. So Radu, you got to come to Japan and experience the food here. Actually, I, I'm kidding. You know, this is kind of like the extreme. But actually, um, the food here is really, really good, right? So Jap traditional Japanese food is really good. What this is, this is like American food with a Japanese twist, right? So, of course, American hamburgers, right? So that's famous, right? American-style hamburgers and, of course, American-style pizza. But here in Japan, they, they put a twist on it. They, they change it for themselves. So actually, I'm kidding around, like these are kind of, they take, these are American foods with a Japanese, um, with Japanese characteristics, yeah. But um, if you want to go just, you know, pure Japanese food, you can't go wrong, right? It's, it's great food here. But these are crazy. These are crazy. Okay. So um, great job, everyone. Now let's continue, shall we? Let's do our next activity, which is answer the question. Answer the question. All right. So I got some questions for you. I have some questions for you. Please give me the answer. Please give me your answer. Please give me your answer. So our next is answer the question. Answer the Question. Okay, here we go. Number one. Question number one. What degree did you get? What degree did you get? What degree did you get? Yeah, sushi is terrific.
candy. I want to eat pizza rice balls. Well, these are not rice balls, but rice bowl. So it's in a bowl. So the rice, cheese, and toppings are in a bowl. So it's called a pizza rice bowl. I don't know. I've never tried it. Okay, what degree did you get? What degree did you get? Radu said, I got a degree in business administration. Okay, so um, Helga, I got, I got a university degree. What is that degree in? Okay, Sleepwalker, what's it in? Omni. English arts. So, so maybe, Lolly, your degree is in nursing, perhaps. Umesh, I got a bachelor's of science. Okay, Helga, I got a degree in Ukrainian language and literature. Yeah, I got a literature degree too. My, my degree is in American Comparative American and English literature. American and English literature. That's my degree. Right? I got a degree in sleeping with my eyes open. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that is difficult to do. That takes lots of training and um, lots of studying to do. That's that's terrific. Okay, Trump got has an accounting degree. Right, dude, I got my degree in banning pineapple pizza. Up, oh, yet yeah, you're, you're, you haven't banned it here in Japan. I can get pineapple pizza in Japan, right, dude. Uh, say, well, I just got a degree of college. Good. So maybe you got like gen general education. Uh, uh, say, well, see, Julia, I got. Higher Education Specialist of Management. Ray Ray, I got a degree in nursing. Okay, Ray Ray and Lolly are nurses. All right, fantastic. Today I was teaching, I, on Tuesday I teach a class of nurses on Tuesdays. So actually I was with first year university students who are going to be nurses in the future and their first year they take a English conversation class. So they're, they're actually my, they're the, they're really good students and they're, they're really, they're mostly girls and they're really friendly and nice, good kids. Ella says, I got a bachelor's degree, or I do, I got a degree in religious studies. Oh, Radu's got a postgraduate degree, so an MA, a master's degree. Sweet Lana, I got an economic, I got an education in economics. Sweet Lana, Sweet Lana, I got an education in economics. I got an education in economics. Oh, Ava, I got an accounting degree, but I never did it. Okay, yeah. My cousin is an accountant and he does my taxes. So my cousin does my taxes. So I'm lucky that my cousin is an accountant, a CPA. Okay, I, I can get... Okay, I'm not sure, Shams. Okay, Poco, I got a degree in Piano playing, a music degree. Mumesh, I don't have English in last year as one of the subjects. We don't have English in last year as one of the. Yeah, same with same. Here in Umesh, here in Japan, usually, um, of course, if if your major is in English, you have English throughout the whole time. But um, if you're a nursing student or anything, usually here in Japan, you're, the first year you have an English conversation class, and then after that, you don't have English anymore. So usually it's just for the first year students. Gen ed, right? The general education, 
everyone here in Japan takes English like their first year at the university level. Okay, Ella, I graduated from econ the economics department of the, um, I, I can't pronounce that, State University. Okay, Ella, Helga, I have, I also have a diploma of a GO nurse, a journalist and a press organizer and um, organizer of excursions. Wow. Right, dude, I got a degree in rocket science. It's not really rocket science to get one. Radu, you are, you're a joker. You're the joker. You should change your, you should change your name to joker. You're the joker. Okay, okay, good. Oh, civil defense. Oh, okay, okay, go. Civil defense. Okay, Helga. Sleepwalk. Okay, okay, great. Oh, Manome, how you doing? Okay. All right, do that, Radu. You're that joker. Okay, um, let's do another one. Okay, let's go number two. What's the question? Here we go, number two. Well, what's the answer, right? Answer the question. Okay, here we go. Number two, answer the question, please. Why are you resting? Why are you resting? Why are you resting? Why are you resting? Good, Manome. Good to see Manome in the house. Maya, I got a degree of a teacher in geography. We also had a degree, we had a good course of English. Yes, Maya, your English is very good, so I'm sure you had good teachers, Maya. Um, so you, actually we could say like um, a teaching license or something, yeah, you got a, maybe you got a, um, a degree, well let's say, um, I'm not sure exactly, like you have a, maybe a, a a bachelor's of, you know, a, a, a um, bachelor's degree in geography and you had a, t and you got your teaching license so you could be a teacher. Okay, number two, why are you resting, sleepwalker? I just did a jog. Tamas says, because I am tired, Umesh, because I am too tired. Julie says, because I'm pretty tired. Okay, good. I'm tired. I'm too tired. I'm pretty tired. I walked. I, how about, okay, Ray Ray, I walked a lot today. I walked more today. That, 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 we don't, that's not, we wouldn't say that. We would say, I walked a lot today, Ray Ray. I walked a lot today. Helga, I am resting because I like to have a rest in the park. Lolly says, because I am tired of studying English. So I'm taking a rest. I'm tired of studying English. I'm gonna take a rest. I'm gonna take a rest. Okay, Amani, because I don't know what to do. Can you help me? <laughs> Tram says, I want energy for work. So I'm taking a rest to recharge my battery. I'm taking a rest to recharge my battery. Meaning your, your body battery, right? Your energy. I'm taking a break, I'm taking a rest, so I get my energy back. So I get my energy back. Marcos, how you doing, buddy? Marcos got his degree in dentistry. That's right, right? You, your degree is in dentistry. Marcos, um, Radu, I am resting because I worked on uh, the land at the ranch all day long. I'm resting because I worked on the ranch all day long. Radu, I'm, I am resting because I worked on the ranch all day long. Sweet Lana, I am resting because I am too tired. Today was a hard day. 
Samuel, because I was walking for a mile. Manome, I am resting because I want energy for work. Tomas, hello, Marcos. <laughs> uh, Maya, wow, I don't know. I don't know to rest can be said in present continuous. Yeah, I'm resting. What are you doing? I'm resting. Yeah, Maya. Take, yeah, so I'm resting. Yeah. We, we, yeah, that, that's, pr that's pretty common. Yeah, I'm taking a break. I'm resting. Uh, Ava, because I exercised a lot. Okay, so, so now you're resting, present continuous. So, Ava, we want to, you exercise. So, we want to put that, we want to put that in the past, right? I exercised, now I'm resting. I exercised. Now I'm resting. Hala says, because I am tired. Poco says, I am resting because the nature is beautiful around. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm resting and checking out the beautiful nature. I'm resting to check out the beautiful nature. I'm resting to check out the nature around me. Sleepwalker says, I am listening to birds sing. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> uh, Radu, I am resting because I took care of the kids all day long. Now you're tired for sure. Ava, because I had a very nice and busy weekend. I am resting because I had a very nice and busy weekend. I had a very nice and busy weekend. Russ. Hello, Russ. Good to see Russ. Radu, I am resting because I played football for five hours straight. Wow, Radu. Taking care of kids, playing football. You are a busy person. Tomas, um, all verbs have present continuous form. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's see, sweet Lana, I walked too long in the park, so I decided to sit down to rest. Very good, sweet Lana. Because I spent the morning learning Turkish. Radu, I am resting so that I can be energized um, in the morning. Oh, okay, but okay. Uh, okay, how about this, Radu? How about in the afternoon? So you're resting now, so you'll be energized later. How about that? Like in the morning, that kind of sounds like, you know, oh, I'll, I'm, I'm having a, a good night's sleep. So I, I'll be energized in the morning. So you want to, that's, we're looking in the future there. So resting now, so I'll be energized in the afternoon. I'm resting now, so I'll be energized in the evening. Thomas, I am resting because I did three push-ups. Maya, I am resting because I feel absolutely worn out. Oh no, Maya, I'm resting because I feel absolutely worn out. Very nice and busy weekend. Yes, I'm resting because I had a very nice and busy weekend. Tanya, I am resting because I take place sometime nearby my husband. Let's see. Um, okay, Tanya, I am resting because I took place sometime nearby my husband. Okay, I'm not sure, Tanya, like, were you doing things for your husband? Like, I'm resting because I was doing some things for my husband. I was doing some tasks for my husband. I was doing some errands. I was doing some errands for my husband. Umesh, I had to study hard for exams, so I am resting now. 
I had to study hard for exams or for my exams. How about this? I had to study hard for my exams and now I am resting. And now I am resting. Okay, I am resting for one thing I do. Okay, I'm not sure. Holla. Okay, Radu energized in the afternoon. Yeah, that sounds better because we're you we you're resting now, so you'll be energized later. Radu, I'm resting because I worked a 20-hour shift. Woo, that's a long, that's almost 24 hours. That's a long shift. <laughs> oh, that that's like that's not good, is it? That's too long. You need, you need sleep and you need to eat. Yes, 20 hours. is 20 hour shift. There's no time to eat, no time to sleep. Mary Pop, I'm resting because I felt tired. Okay, good. Okay, I am resting because I was walking a long time. A long time, a long time. Tetsuro, because I'm waiting for my friend to meet me here. So I am... I am resting and waiting for my friend to meet me here. Tetsuro, I am resting and waiting for my friend to meet me here. Eva, I need to be more energetic because I worked a lot. Radu, I am resting because my doctor recommended that I do so. Eva, oh, another Eva. I'm resting because I'm looking at you. <laughs> Ava, mwah, this is the the not green Ava. Mwah, okay, Hala, I am going to rest. I'm going to rest for much rest. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Hala, I don't know. Okay, uh, Radu, I am resting because I climbed up Mount Everest with Mark. Shh. That's our secret. Don't tell anyone, Radu. That's our secret. Okay. I'm resting to get some fresh air. Oh, I like that, Sleepwalker. That's a nice one. I'm resting to get some fresh air. Okay. With, let's end it with that. Sleepwalker, that's a great sentence. Let's stop with that. All right. So um, what shall we do now? What? shall we do now let's check our schedule here okay which is more and then we will do our dictation cards okay so we'll, we got one more short activity and then we will do our dictation cards okay so our next short activity we're going to do a short activity which is more, okay? Which is more? So we're going to compare two things. Okay, so which is more? So we're going to compare. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go. Which is more? Which is more? Okay, here we go. Number one. Which is more useful, a knife or a rifle? Which is more useful, a knife or a rifle? Which is more useful, a knife or a rifle? Ray Ray, I'm resting because I'm feeling pain in my stomach. Okay, so Ray Ray, I'm resting because I have a stomach ache. Stomach ache. I am resting because I have a stomach ache. Okay, I can't read Russian. I'm sorry. Hello. I can't read that. Perhaps Sleepwalker can read that. Okay. Hello, Tasman. Hmm. Which is more useful? Which is more useful? A knife or a rifle? Lolly says, a knife is more useful because it can cut anything. Oh, sweet Lana, Olga. Hello, Olga. Thank you, thank you. Olga, welcome. 
rifle. Samuel, rifle. Which is more useful, a knife or a rifle? A rifle is a gun, but it's, it's a long gun. It has a long barrel. That's a, a rifle. Okay, a knife is more useful because it is multifunctional, says Helga. Eva, a knife because I can cut anything. Tomas, a knife is better because we can use it without permission. Um, Ibram says a knife is more useful. Sleepwalker said, hello, Olga. And see, Julia, a knife is more useful because we use it every day. Okay, Tanya, I am using a knife. <laughs> Mary Poppin. Uh, the knife is more useful because I can use it in the kitchen. Can't use a rifle in the kitchen. <laughs> oh no, I gotta open the can. I'll get my rifle. Rifle. <laughs> Don't use the rifle in the house. Don't use the rifle in the house. Don't do it. Radu, a, a knife because you don't have to worry about any bullets. You just need to keep it sharp. Good, Radu. I agree. Umesh, a rifle because when enemy when an enemy comes near. So, so a rifle will keep your enemy away. A, a knife, like too close to your enemy, right? So a rifle will keep your enemy away, back. Marco says, a knife is more useful because I know how to use it. Ray Ray, uh, the, a knife is important because we use it in the kitchen. Samuel, absolutely, a knife is more useful because it's a tool for many things in the kitchen and etc. We can clear the window with a rifle. Yes, we can. If you, if you don't want your window, you can just use your rifle and all the glass will be gone. Okay, so everyone's saying knife. So I think we have a consensus here. So I think, I think we, everyone agrees that the knife is more useful. Okay, very good. Yes, I agree. I think we all can agree. Olga says both, um, both are used in, an, in the army. That's right. So Olga says both are used in the army. Yep, knives and rifles are used in the army. That's right. Um, Ta Tajana says um, we use a knife every day. Yep, yep. And uh, Amani says the rifle makes violence easy for some people. Yep, so that's not good. Umesh, uh, a knife because we can cut vegetables. Sweet Lana says a knife is more useful. I agree with women because we can use it in the kitchen. Well, Sweet Lana, men, men use knives too. Men like cooking too. We cook in the kitchen. Hala, a knife is um, used for cooking. Uh, Sewu, a knife is more useful because I have never used a rifle in my life. Yes, Olga, Olga, Olga. Both are used in the army. Perfect, Olga. And, and okay, so this is great. So I, 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 I want to remind everyone. So Olga, so her first sentence, um, she needed to fix, right? And she did it, right? So she, she wrote her first sentence, and then I helped her, and then she fixed it, and she wrote it there. So that is really good. That is really studying. So Olga, good job. I'm happy to see that you fixed your sentence. So that's good. That's good. Okay, let's move on to our next activity. Yes, let's do our 
Dictation cards, okay? Let's do our dictation cards. So now you need a pencil and paper. A pencil and paper. So, because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. All right, so our topic today is far and near, far and near. All right, so the, our topic, dictation cards, far and near. I'm going to write them right here. Far and near. Okay, and distance, yeah? Okay, so we, we use these for distance, right? So far, 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 near, 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 far, 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 near, 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 <laughs> far and near. And actually, there's also another one I used, um, a long way from, a long way from, a long way from. Okay, so that's, that's far. So we can say, a long way from, a long way from, far near. So a long way from is far, okay? A long way from is far. Okay, so that's our topic. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards, eight cards. You need a pencil. Oh. I, oh, here's a pencil over there. Sorry, sorry. I got a pencil. Okay, so you need a pencil and paper because I want you to listen and write down what I say word for word. And there are going to be four steps. Step one, dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, on your own. Step four, quiz. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to say each card three times. You will not see the card. You will not see the sentence. You will not see the picture. You will just purely listen and write, okay? Four steps to success. Thank you, Mary. Now, if you, don't, if you don't get the whole sentence, don't worry, because step two, we're going to shadow, and then you're going to see the card. You will see the sentence. Uh, you'll see the picture. You will understand, all right? So don't worry for the dictation part. Just do your best. If you get it all, that's great. If you don't, no sweat. Don't, don't worry about it, because um, we're going to have four steps. And so you will understand these sentences, so don't worry. All right, so here we go. Oh, say, I can't meet Mark. He is far away from me. Yeah, well, say, we're not so far. I mean, we're, we're far, but actually we're closer than most people here, I think, right? So uh, South Korea is the closest place to Japan. So we're far, but not too far. <laughs> we will meet one day. I want to go to Korea sooner than later. So we will meet, Sewu. We will meet face to face one of these days. One of these days. Um, we can learn s spelling of some words this time. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. My office is near the station. Ava, you can do it, Ava. It's a challenge, but that's good for you. Yeah, Tajana. So Russia, but actually... Some parts of Russia is pretty close to Japan, I think. I think um, for, for sure um, 
um, um, um, the capital of Russia. Um, geez, what, it's escaping. Um, oh, gosh. Anyway, it'll come to me. I think, yeah. Anyways, oh, hold, hold on. Give me. <laughs> okay, number two, or second time. Moscow, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I think Moscow is far, but some other places to in Russia are close to Japan. Okay, second time. My office is near the station. No, hello. My office is near the station. Yeah, Europe. We're far from Europe. <laughs> yeah, far from Europe. Okay, two. Two. Card number two. How far is your place from here? How far is your place from here? Thank you, Nur. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, Maya. Yep. How far is your place from here? Okay, card number three. My house is a long way from here. My house is a long way from here. My house is a long way from here. Okay, number four. The event is too far to walk. The event is too far to walk. The event is too far to walk. Okay, number five, number five. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, number six. It's not far from here. It's not far from here. It's not far from here. Okay, number seven. I don't want to be a long way from my family. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Tercy Gamer. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Okay, that's dictation. Okay, did it. Good, 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 good. Oh, real quick, by the way, I noticed there are some new people here. So if you're new, please subscribe, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, okay? I know every YouTube channel you hear everyone go, subscribe, yeah, so, um, but please do. <laughs> so if you're new, 
I've seen there's some new people I saw so be sure to subscribe okay don't forget to hit that subscribe button subscribe button don't forget okay shadow time okay so step two was step one was dictation you listen and wrote now step two you're going to oh <laughs> That's right, sleep part. Everybody on YouTube says that, right? So I'm sure you guys like, uh, don't say that anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So step two is shadowing. So not listening and writing, but listening and speaking. All right. So this is speaking practice. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm showing that. Hold on. I got to show it. All right, maname, thank you. Okay, here we go, shadow time. My office is near the station. 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 Okay, so where you work, right, your office, where you work and the station are nearby. Okay, Maya, don't go near that or is don't go that. Okay, um, Maya, hold on. I'll show you the picture and you will understand more, okay? So hold on, Maya. Um, when we get to the picture, you will understand, okay? So my office is near the station. So um, maybe if you take the train to work, you're, you, you're happy because you don't have to walk very far. And um, because it's near the, the station, it's very convenient. Okay, two. How far is your place from here? How far is your place from here? How far is your place from here? Thank you, Maya. How far is your place from here? Okay, so I'm asking you, so maybe we're just talking and I'm asking your place, meaning like your home. Okay, so how far is your place? So sometimes you might hear some, oh, um, what's your place like, right? What's your apartment like? What's your house like? What's your place like? Um, is your place far? So place, we're saying place, for your home, okay? So um, how far is your home from here? How far is your place from here? Okay, number three. My house is a long way from here. 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 So, so maybe we're talking and we're here. <laughs> we're talking here and I tell you, oh, my house is a long way from here. It's, it takes an hour by train. It's a long way from here. It takes an hour by train. It takes an hour by car. It takes an hour walking. So Ava says, my house is a long way from, huh? Okay, wait, Ava, my house is long way from my childhood. Okay, okay. maybe your, um, your hometown. So my house is a long way from my hometown. So that hometown, Ava, is where you grew up as a child, like your child house. So we'll say hometown. So you can say, Ava, um, my, ho or, my house is a long way from my hometown. Okay, Hala, can I ask you if you can use event for different world? Um, yeah, hometown, that's right, Ava. Uh, okay, Hala, I'm not sure exactly. Can I ask you if I... If I can use event for a uh, different world. Okay, event. So I used event right now. I'll show you. So like 
event can be like a, a conference or um, like a comic event. So like you can say event or conference. So like um, some, like, like lots of people gather for a particular thing. So like you'll have like uh, a, a convention, right? So you have like a, a, a teacher's convention, right? So teachers come together and they talk about their job. They, they have presentations. So that's like an event. And you have like Comic-Con, right? So all, everyone comes to a place to, to um, check out comic books and talk to each other. So they have like Comic-Con and things like that. So um, we can call it a conference or an event. So here we go. Next card, number four. The event is too far to walk. 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 Okay, so this, in this situation, so let's say we are going to a conference. We're going to an event, and we have a hotel. We're staying at a hotel, and we say, oh, the event is too far to walk. So the place where the event is happening, we need a taxi or we need to take a bus. It's too far to walk. So the event is too far to walk. So we have to go there because um, we are attending, right? We, we bought tickets. We're attending the event. So it could be a, um, a world conference event. It can be a, uh, a teaching event conference, right? So it's too far to walk. Number five. Okay, my job is rather far from my house. It takes me 40 minutes to get there on foot. Oh, that's good exercise, Tajana. That's great exercise. You're lucky. <laughs> you get an exercise to work. That, that You're very fortunate. <laughs> Number five, here we go. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, so the inter entertainment district, so Many cities have a entertainment district. That means area where the entertainment is. So there could be, you know, that's where the movie theaters are. There are concert halls there. There are restaurants there. So the entertainment district is where people go to socialize, have fun, see a movie, uh, have dinner, or have some drinks, there's pubs there, there's bars there, there's um, concerts there, there are, uh, there's comedy shows there, right? There may be, you know, some attractions there, maybe there's some game centers there, so it's the entertainment district. Yeah, there could be an amusement park nearby, that's right, that's right, Tomas. Okay, let's go number six. It's not far from here. 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 Okay, so we're talking and oh oh where do you live? Oh it's I it's not or where's your house? Oh it's not far from here. Oh excuse me, where is the the Station. Oh, it's not far from here. Where, where is the, um, where are the restaurants? Oh, they're not far from here. Where's the internet? Where is the entertainment district? Oh, it's not far from here. It's not far from here. <laughs> entertainment district. Okay, number seven. Oh, Ava, I don't want to live there. Okay, so. 
Good, Ava. Yep. Some people, maybe, you know, some people want to live by the entertainment district, right? Because that's where all the fun is. That's where the excitement is. It, it's loud and, and lots of things to do. But maybe some people, they, they don't want the noise. They don't want crowds of people, right? They want, they want peace and quiet. So they don't want to live near the entertainment district. No, they don't. Okay, hold on. We're, we got spamming happening, so I'm going to um, hide the spammer. Okay, here we go. Number seven. I don't want to be a long way from my family. I don't want to be a long way from my family. I don't want to be a long way from my family. <clears throat> oh, Ray Ray, yeah, so maybe the entertainment district is more expensive to live there and there's lots of temptations to spend money, right? So, um, yeah, so usually it's more expensive living near the entertainment district. Okay, number seven. I don't want to be a long way from my family. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Oh, so Ava, my daughter Lucy lives very far from her family. Yeah, so some people, because of work or because of school, they have to live far from their family. Um, like Miley right now, Miley isn't here, but she's going to watch. And hi, Miley. <laughs> and Miley lives in Italy, but her son lives in Miami, Florida, in America. So she lives very far from her her son. So, and I live in Japan, and my family, my mother and father, I have a family here in Japan. I'm married with, with a few, with two girls. So I have family here in Japan, and I have my family in America, right? My mother, father, brother, sister. So I live very far from them. So it, it, it's sad. Oh, okay, that's right. Ava, Lucy lives in Canada. And so Tomas, Tomas's son lives in um, England, right, Tomas? And so Tomas's son lives very far away. So, so many people um, live far away from their family, right? Olga, my son lives very, f Olga says, my son lives a long way from me. Yeah, so Olga, my son lives a long way from me. My son lives a long way from me. So, right? So maybe some people, like, oh, this, there's a new job. It, it has, you know, the pay is good but you have to live a long way from your family. So some people say, no, I don't want to do that. Or some people say, well, you know, it can't be helped. We need to make money. So I have no choice, but I have to um, go there for work. So I'm going to live a long way from my family, but no choice, no choice. Ray Ray, I live near the beach about 10. Oh, Ray Ray, very nice. I love the beach. Oh, my son lives in Nottingham. It is not far. It's not as far as Canada. Okay, and let's go. Number A, here we go. Oh, okay, good, Olga. My son lives a long way from me. Yeah, Olga, very good. Nice sentence. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Oh, Shamus, my brother lives a long way from me. My brother lives a long way from me. Oh, okay, Ava. Bye-bye. Have a um, good luck in your job. Have a, have a good, good day. <laughs> have a good working day, Ava. Have a good working day. That's right. So I, I can't read Arabic, but most families in my country are scattered 
um, in countries around the world. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, Olga, my son lives in LA. I'm from LA. I'm from Los Angeles, but I live in Japan now. Okay, here we go. Number eight. So, Olga, where in Los Angeles? What city? Does he live in Los Angeles? City or surrounding? Uh, uh, I'm from Manhattan Beach. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Okay, so, so Maya, so do you understand now? Don't go near that. So this is very dangerous, so don't go close to it because you can get hurt. Okay, Maya, so don't go near that. So what was your question, Maya? Okay, Ava, have a good day at work. Mwah. See you on Friday. Yeah, don't go near... Oh, North Hollywood. Okay, Olga, I know exactly. I know exactly there. Yep, I know. I've been there many times, North Hollywood. I did some work there. So um, I know North Hollywood very well, Olga. Have you been there to visit him? Mmm, Tajana, don't go near that angry dog, or don't go near the angry dogs. Good advice. Don't do that. Yeah, don't go near the TNT. <laughs> Very dangerous. Okay, good, Maya. Yeah, don't go near that. Okay, good job, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was shadowing. So now I want you to do it on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to cover the sentence, all right? So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the picture, okay? So say the sentence only by looking at the picture. Yeah, Tanya, TNT is very dangerous, very dangerous. Okay, here we go on your own. So I will go and then you will go. We will take turns, but when it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence, okay? So. Please practice on your own. Here we go. My office is near the station. Okay, now it's your turn. My office is near the station. My office is near the station. My office is near the station. How far is your place from here? Oh, very good, Olga. Very good. How far is your place from here? How far is your place from here? How far is your place from here? My house is a long way from here. My house is a long way from here. My house is a long way from here. Olga, what does your son do in North Hollywood? What's his job? The event is too far to walk. 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 I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district. I would like to live near the entertainment district.
I would like to live near the entertainment district. It's not far from here. Okay, Olga, nice. It's not far from here. It's not far from here. It's not far from here. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Yes, Maya, many times. <laughs> many times, yes. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Have you been to Disneyland, Maya? I don't want to be a long way from my family. I don't want to be a long way from my family. Well, when Olga goes visits her son in North Hollywood, she must go to Disneyland, right? Olga, you must go there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number eight. Don't go near that. Oh, uh -huh. Maya, maybe you can go to North Hollywood with Olga. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. No, don't go near that. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, that was on your own. Very good. Now we're going to do a quiz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards so they're, so they're all mixed up. We don't know the order. And then you will write the sentence in the chat. <laughs> so Sleepwalker, Olga, and Maya can all go to LA together. Have a, have a trip, a ladies vacation. Okay, here we go. Stop. Okay. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. Here's the quiz. Card number one, write the sentence in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Radu. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, nice, nice, Trump. Helga. Yes, yes, okay. No problem with this, right? This one is no problem. It, it's very... But and it's also very useful, right? If you're talking to kids or something, like, don't go near that. It's dangerous. Don't go near that, right? It's very, this is a very useful sentence for you. <laughs> Good, everyone. Don't go near that. Yep, yep. It could be a waterfall, could, some dangerous thing. Don't go near that. It's, a da it's dangerous. Don't go near that. It's dangerous. Okay, here we go. Yes. Good. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Quiz card number two. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. 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 What is the sentence? Do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? Helga, uh, my house is a long way from here. Mary Pompas, my house is a long way from here. Sleepwalker. Suilana. Tamas. Radu. Ray Ray, Ella, Sarah, Natalia, Mano Me. Okay, let's check. Let's check it out. Let's check. 
the sentence. My house is a long way from here. Very good. You did it. Very good. Very good. My house is a long way from here. Okay, here we go. Card. Yeah, okay, Olga. My house is a long way from here. Very good, Olga. Okay, here we go. Last card. Number three. Card number three, last one. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. 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 The this is a long one. <laughs> this is the most difficult one. This is the most difficult sentence in the, in the group. So good luck. This is the hardest one. So we had the simplest one, right? This was the easiest one. Don't go near that. And this is the most difficult one. So one of each. One of the easy ones and one of the difficult ones. Okay, Sleepwalker says, I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, ah, you guys see. No problem for you. No problem for you. No problem for you. No problem for you. Marco says, I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, let's check it out. Tomas, I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I would like to live near the entertainment district. Okay, nothing is too difficult for you. All right. Well done. That was the quiz. You did it. You passed with flying colors. You passed with flying colors. All right. There you go. Okay. That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's go to Lolly's Revenge, yeah? Let's do Lolly's Revenge, shall we? I think we should. I think we should. Okay, it was a piece of cake. I just learned, actually, you know, I've been in Japan for a long time, and I still learn new phrases, and this is... Tetsuro's here, and I learned this one today. Asa, asa meshi mai. Asa meshi mai. Tetsuro. Asa meshi mai. Asa meshi mai. <laughs> okay. So, Tetsuro, please in the chat write the meaning. Asa meshi mai. Okay, here we. What does that mean, Tetsuro? Asa meshi mai. What does that mean? Okay, so here we go. Lolly's revenge. And, oh, and there's four steps to. There's four steps. Okay. Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Yes. So, piece of cake. Asa meshi mai. Means piece of cake. Easy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four steps to success. We got step one. Uh, let's see. Conversation. Number two, we got... We got... Um, Jeez, question answer, I, I, I'm blanking out here. Question answer, step three, reading. And step four, shadowing. Okay, so we got our four steps. And here we go. Oh, Helga, are you leaving? I didn't see. Maybe Helga said goodbye. Okay, Helga. Thanks for coming. Mwah. See you on Friday. Yeah, so Ray Ray. It's a piece of cake. Very easy. It's a piece of cake. That means very easy. Okay, here we go. 
This is Joe and this is Sue. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sue. Joe and Sue. I'm going to read the conversation. Yes, it is Japanese. So, um, so a piece of cake in Japanese is asa meshi mai. So that is a piece of cake. That's how you say a piece of cake in Japanese. It's easy. It's easy. Okay, here we go. Uh, Joe is first. How far away is it? <laughs> Konnichiwa says um, sleepwalker. Okay, here we go. One more time. How far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Okay, I'm going to read the conversation again between Joe and Sue. Okay, so here's Joe. Joe is first. How far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. Okay, that was conversation. Are you ready for the questions? Or do, do you want me to read it again? One more time or question time? One more time or question time? Which, which do you want to do? Okay, so Sleepwalker last time. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Tetsuro, last, okay. Question time. Okay, let's do, let's do it um, for the last time. And then question time, okay? So this, okay, Umesh, yep, this is, I'm going to do it once more, okay? This is the last time. So please listen carefully. Okay, sweet Lana. Didn't get the, okay, I will, um, we're going to do it again, okay, sweet Lana? Don't worry. Okay, here we go. How far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. Okay, that was the conversation. So let's check that off. Okay, now I'm going to ask you four questions. Here we go. Four questions. This is question number one. Why did Joe stop the car? Why did Joe stop the car? English vibes. Hello. I'm going to get more coffee and you guys write the answer. Okay, question number one. What did, why, why did Joe stop the car? Why did Joe stop the car? the car. I'm getting coffee right now. I'm pouring coffee. Why did Joe stop the car? Okay, yeah, sleepwalker. Why why did Joe stop the car? Yeah. Yes, Tomas. Yeah, Lolly to ask 
to ask for directions because he wanted to ask someone about the address. Okay, Samuel, good. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcos to Joe stopped the car to ask for information. Yeah. Tetsuro, because he stopped the car. Wait, because he stopped the car to ask someone how far away. Yeah, okay, so Tetsuro, he stopped the car because. All right, Tetsuro, he stopped the car because, or he stopped the car to ask. So we don't need, okay, okay, because he's, okay, because. Okay, okay, we, we, if you could just say, because he asked someone how far away it is, how far away it is. Yeah, Ella, good. Joe stopped the car to ask the way. Very good. Okay, Umesh, because he did not know how far it was. That was good. That's good. Perfect. Uh, Manome, he didn't know the direction on uh, Shams to ask someone about the, the, the place. Olga, because he has never been there. Good. So he's never been there. So how far is it? So they, they're maybe stressing, right? They're like, oh, I'm stressed. Where is it? How far? Right? So they don't want to, they don't want to go the wrong way. Right? So they're feeling stress. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Number two, number two. How long till their destination? How long till their destination? Number two. How long till their destination? Question two. How long till their destination? Mmm, sleepwalker, lolly, tram. Yeah, you guys, great. Mary Poppins, sweet Lana, yeah. No pro everyone, oh, very, very good, yes. 45 minutes, perfect. So it's 45 minutes away, yeah, Olga, 45 minutes away. Very good, very good, 45 minutes away. Good, good, good. All right, number three. What did Sue bring? Number three. What did Sue bring? What did Sue bring? Yeah, Maya, it's 45 minutes till the destination. All right, so question three. What did Sue bring? What did Sue bring? Mm. Yes, Marion. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Lolly. Sleepwalker. Good. Mustafa. Yes. Chocolate cake. Mm. Yes, Marcos. Chocolate cake. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You guys have nice ears. <laughs> you guys have good ears. Okay. Number four. Here we go. Question four, last question. Where are they going? <laughs> Where are they going? Where are they going? Now here, question four, you need to infer, right? So you need to infer. I didn't say a specific place, right? So you have to, from the conversation, where are they going? So you have to infer. You have to, you, you have to like read between the lines. You have to, so here, here are the lines, right? You have to read in between the lines. You have to infer, because I didn't tell you exactly, right? Okay. Okay, okay. What's the purpose? What, what's the purpose? No, Olga. No. So, Olga, it's 45 minutes um, 
away from the lake, right? So, so like the lake is like a landmark. Maya, Maya, you are always clever. Um, so the lake is like a landmark, right? So, you know, it, the, the lake is easy to find, right? Because it's big, a lake's easy to find. So it's a landmark. And so from the lake, go another 45 minutes. Yeah, okay, good. So a birthday party. Why? So I didn't say birthday party, did I? I didn't say it. So how, how did you know a birthday party? How did you know? So how did you infer that? How, how did you read between the lines? How did you, um, why did you say birthday party? Good sleepwalker. See that that's so, so that that's that's great. So in, in in conversation, there's when you there's lots of inferring, right? And people are having a conversation, talking, and so you have to listen to the conversation, and you're 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 listening to clues in a way. So people aren't just saying directly things. They 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 talk about things, and then we. We naturally infer, we naturally um, get those clues and we um, know what the person's talking about, right? So, so very good. So I didn't say birthday party, but I said chocolate cake, I said present. And so you're going, okay, oh, chocolate cake, present equals birthday party. <laughs> so, so well done and um, that's great. Great listening because you're listening for purpose, right? You're listening for, um, for meaning. You're listening. There is, a, there is a, a purpose for you to listen. So very well, very good. And real quick, so that was question and answers. So now we're going to read the conversation together. But real quick, um, before we do the reading, um, there's a poll. I asked you guys to vote and there's 144 votes and my question in the poll for you, you had two choices, right? And the question was, do you live near your job? Do you live near your job? 59% of the people said, yes, I do. And 41% said, no, I don't. So that's almost like, that's pretty close, right? So 59% said, yes, I live near my job. And 41% said, no, I don't. So that's pretty close, pretty even, right? Almost 50-50. So um, yeah, so it's good to live close to your job. And it, it can be, um, it, it, it could be, like when you live far from your job, um, it can be, a challenge because you have to get up early. You have to, um, maybe if you drive, you have to beat the traffic. And some people spend a lot of time just commuting, right? So commuting meaning from your house to your job. And for me, some days I have to drive or, you know, I have to go by train and it could take me three hours, right? So um, some, like on Wednesdays, three hours of my day is just traveling to my job, right? And today was 45 minutes. So some, some days um, I don't have to travel as far. And then Wednesdays, I it takes me three hours. Well, one hour, in an hour and a half in the morning and an hour and a half in the afternoon. So that's three hours of just travel time. So, but yeah, almost 50-50. So that was... Um, very interesting. Yeah, Tetsuro, three hours. So, so I have to go to Nagoya by train and there's like waiting for, for my train. So I have to like walk to my local station, Tetsuro, and then I have to wait for the train to come. Then I have to go to um, Gifu station. Then I have to go to Nagoya station. Then I take the subway. So there's a lot of traffic or a lot of uh, commute time. Mm. 
English vibe. Beat the traffic. So today, on Tuesdays, I try to beat the traffic, meaning, um, so for example, Tetsuro, if I get on the road before 7 in the morning, I beat the traffic, no traffic jam. If I get on the road at 7 or after, I'm in the traffic jam. So I, I want to beat the traffic, so I need to get on the road before 7 to beat the traffic. If I, if I run late, like if I take, um, if I get on the road after 7, then it takes me longer to get to work. Yeah, Maya, three hours is too long. Takes lots of, you know, I'm not, I'm not driving, I'm taking the train, but I do get tired, right? Just sitting on the train with, with many people. So, yeah. So, Wednesdays are not fun. <laughs> Wednesdays, tomorrow, no! Tomorrow's Wednesday, no! Okay, let's get to it, okay? Oh, uh, Julia, see, you're lucky, very lucky. Well, right here, so my office here, where, we're, where, you know, my office, I'm doing my YouTube videos in my office, and it's very close to my house. So it takes five minutes from my house to walk here is five minutes. So I like coming here to do my YouTube videos for you. So that, those are good days. I come here, no problem, but to the university, that is far. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Okay, so let's read the conversation together, all right? Let's read it together. Yeah, three hours. It's Wednesdays, that's, that's the bad day. Wednesdays are the bad day. Oh, Umesh, do I read while traveling? Um, I, I can't really read. I, I read email. Yeah, I do. I, 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 I do email and, and, and things like that. And um, I do get, but sometimes I can't get a seat, so I have to stand up. So I can't then. So it depends. If I get a seat, then I can read. If I don't get a seat, then I can't read. I'm just standing. Okay, here we go. Let's read the... Okay, here we go. Let me, I got to fix my computer here. Okay, here we go. Okay, Joe's first. How far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. Okay, here we go. Uh, Joe says, how far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. Um, both are okay. English five, both. Yeah, you could you could go T E E or you could do T hyphen. So either way is okay. Yes. Yeah. So t-shirt, you go T E E or T hyphen. <laughs> Long version. Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know. I just, if, if, yeah, either way, either way is fine. But now you know, right? So, so I did, I did the T-E-E, -E, so now you know, right? So now you know. Okay, so that was the reading. So let's shadow, shall we? Let's shadow, shall we? Let's shadow, shall we? Okay, so let's practice saying the conversation. Here we go. Shadow time. Five, four, three, two, one. How far away is it? How far away is it? How far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. I'm not sure. I've never been there. 
I'm not sure. I've never been there. I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. 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 <laughs> Maya, Maya says, I'm only surprised that Joe and Sue come to know about the gifts on the way to the party, but not early. <laughs> You're right, Maya. That is surprising. <laughs> okay, um, let's stop and ask someone. Okay, um, what did they say? What did they say? What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. So, so it's 45 minutes to the lake, and then it's near the lake. So drive 45 minutes, you will get to the lake, and then it's close by. <laughs> oh no, Marco says, Joe, did you forget the beer? No, Joe never forgets the beer. That's what, that's what Joe's bringing. Uh, Sue brought the chocolate cake and t-shirt, and Joe brought the beer. Okay, um, good, now we can relax. Good, now we can relax. Good, now we can relax. What did you bring? <laughs> That's Joe. Joe's not interested in those things, right? Joe's only interested in beer. Um, what did you bring? What did you bring? What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. I brought a chocolate cake. I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? <laughs> Any presents? Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. I got her a t-shirt. I got her a t-shirt. <laughs> Joe, get out of the car. Yes, yes. But um, I think Joe knows, or no, Sue knows Joe very well by now. So it's expected, right? So, um, Sue knows Joe very well, so it's expected. <laughs> kind of like my wife. My wife knows me, so what I do is expected. <laughs> so she doesn't get angry. No, she, sometimes she gets angry. <laughs> okay, let's read it one more time. Yeah, we shadowed. Let's look at it one last time, shall we? Joe says, how far away is it? I'm not sure. I've never been there. Let's stop and ask someone. What did they say? It's near the lake, which is about 45 minutes away. Good. Now we can relax. What did you bring? I brought a chocolate cake. Any presents? I got her a t-shirt. Okay. They were supposed to have a conversation about Gift planning before indeed. <laughs> yeah, Joe doesn't like to talk about that though. <laughs> okay, that was the shadowing part. Whoa, we did it everyone. Okay, well, we got a full whiteboard. Yes, we do. And what I do, I always take a picture of the whiteboard. Let me get my phone, which has my camera. My phone has my camera. Yes, this is a phone and it has a camera. It's very convenient, very convenient. Okay, so there's, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard, then I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. The link is below to my Facebook group page where you can check out all the whiteboards. So I'm going to step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. 
I will upload it later so you can check it out anytime you want to. Woo! Look at what we did, everyone. Nice, nice, nice. We we're here for two hours. Yeah, two hours. And I hope you had fun. I had fun. I'm going to be back on Friday. Yes, Friday, June 18th already. Time, June is almost finished now. Jeez, jeez, jeez. I can't believe how the time just goes. The calendar is just, we just have to rip off. There's, you know, May's gone. June's gone. July's gone. It's just tearing off the pages of the calendar. It's scary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tetsuro, so much. Um, anyways, thanks everyone. And thank you, Green Team. Yes, the supporters. Yes, thank you, Green Team. Mwah, you could see them. Sleepwalker, thank you. Marion, thank you. Tetsuro, thank you. Lolly, thank you. Ava was here. Thank you, Ava. Also, Maya, thank you. Marion, Tetsuro, everyone. Tomas, thank you, Green Team. And, um, if you want to be part of the green team, if you want your name to be green, like Sleepwalker and Marcos, Tetsuro, please join the channel. Support me so I can support you, okay? So um, thanks everyone, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. It it's, means a lot to me. Um, Diego, hello. <laughs> thanks Diego. Ray Ray, thank you. Sweet Lana, thank you. Olga, welcome Olga to the channel. I hope to see you again, Olga. Samuel, thank you. Thanks so much. Candy, candy, good. Thank you, candy, candy. You are very welcome. Have a nice day too. And um, all right, so let's say goodbye together, shall we? Okay, let's do that. Let's count down to saying goodbye. Bye all. Yes, Tomas. Olga, good to meet you, Olga. Thank you for coming by. Mary Poppins, Ella, Samuel, Marcos, uh, English Vibes, Tetsuro, see ya. Okay, everyone. Julia, thank you, Julia. Ray Ray, goodbye. Good to see Ray Ray, as always. Julia, goodbye. Diego, adios. Maya, I, it, it's, it's no problem. It's my pleasure, Maya. Um, I pre, big, big thank you, Maya. Mwah. Thank you so much, Maya. Yeah, excellent, Maya. Cheers to Maya. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, Maya, thanks for the extra support. You're here. You're the green team, Maya. You, you're always helping me. And um, there was extra help. So thank you. Mwah, appreciate it. Okay. Let's say goodbye. Tajana. Manome. Bye-bye. Okay. Here we go. We're going to count down. And, and again, thank you again, Maya. Mwah. And it's not a problem. I have patience for you. It's not, it's not like, oh, I'm, I have no more patience left. No, no, no problem. Actually, you give me energy. And like today's been a hard day for me, but being here with you, I got energy from you guys. So it's not a problem. Okay, Marco says, arigato, and I say, de nada. No, that's Spanish, de nada. Doitashimashite. That is, what am I doing? I, I said de nada, which is, that is in Spanish. No, I want to say, I want to say doitashimashite. Doitashimashite, which is, you're welcome in Japanese. Doitashimashite. Okay. Um, see, I'm mixing all these. So I, I studied Spanish in high school, and now I live in Japan. So sometimes my brain gets... Spanish and Japanese, like the, 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 the wires get crossed, right? And so it's like, no, I don't want to say Spanish. I want to say Japanese. Okay. Thank you, Maya. You are 
Love you, Maya. I love you, Maya, so much. You, I love you so much, Maya. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. For sure. We're going to say goodbye. For sure. Here we go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks, everyone. See you on Friday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Maya.